On this Veterans Day, we're taking a closer look at an epidemic affecting military and veteran communities, suicide. As evening anchor Leslie Draffin shows us, the VA says suicide rates are slightly down as a whole, but they're growing among some veterans. Leslie. Amani, suicide rates among veterans ages 18 to 34 has risen drastically over the last 10 years. The latest data says it went up 10 percent from 2015 to 2016 alone. Tonight, I talk with six families, all who've lost loved ones to suicide. This is their story of loss and their message of hope. They are stories told too many times. He left a message. He said, I love you all. Sorry. And I knew he was dead. Stories of grief. He hit it so well. There were signs, but I knew nothing about PTSD. Stories of heartache. I exist and I'm numb. I, I could say just not the same for sure. Stories represented with a flag. One for each veteran and active duty service member lost to suicide. He was my best friend. Marine Todd Hawk, gone on April 27, 2013. That was the worst day of my life, but I knew it was going to happen sooner or later. Soldier Trevor Gould, gone June 21st, 2012. He had gone to them like four times to ask for help. He even said he was suicidal. He even told them how he was going to do it. Um, he wasn't getting any help. Christopher Cooper, who died April 27th, 2016. I had just stepped outside for one minute and uh, that's when I heard the shot. And Joshua Berry, who killed himself on February 13th, 2012. Just, just wasn't the same person. Many families left behind, like Barry's father Howard, say they feel forgotten. I'm a no star father. Families like mine don't exist. VA statistics tell a story too how every day, on average, 22 veterans commit suicide. And the story reaches into active duty military, too, with suicides like Devin Fazulo's. I still wake up and I'm like ready to text him, you know, and that's just not reality anymore. Devin's wife, Jordan, says when he came home from a nine month Navy deployment, she knew something was wrong. He just started crying, just had a breakdown like out of nowhere. She begged him to get help but he resisted. He's like, if I get help, then my career's over. When Jordan became pregnant, things grew worse. Since Devin was in training, she came home to Harker Heights to have their son, Wyatt. But when the family reunited, things fell apart. Things just like kept getting worse. It progressed really bad. And so I moved back to Texas in November of 2017. Um, just after being together for like a week, honestly. In the weeks that followed, Jordan says things started looking up. We were planning a vow renewal. Like, you know, we were looking at houses again. So I was like, okay, we're, we're good. We're on a good path. But on March 18th of this year, Devin took his own life. Regardless of what was going on with us, he was my husband and the father of my child. And now my child doesn't have a father that he'll ever get to know. Victor Trujillo has seen how these stories end. It's heart wrenching to see it. The U.S. Army veteran spent 24 years in the military, many as a police officer. He often responded to suicides from veterans. He had committed suicide in the front seat of his car. I left a note for his daughter. He had uh, stage four cancer, didn't want to burden her, and wanted to be someplace where he remembered the good life soldiers on post. And it was in the barracks and he hung himself on the third story. There was no note or nothing. Nobody understood what happened. Even his own friends. He wanted to die, but he didn't want to do it. So he fired at us after he was shot. I remember him screaming, I don't want to die. You never forget that. And while their stories will never be forgotten, their mothers, fathers, spouses, and friends hope by sharing their pain, others suffering hear their true message. Never give up, always talk to somebody. One life is one life. One life's worth everything. And ask for help so no more flags are added here and your story has a happier ending. 
Help is available through a variety of resources. One mother, Sherry Johnson, who you heard from in this story, has even started an organization in her son's memory to help other veterans. We have more on that group as well as other resources at KCENTV.com.